Hey guys, this is Mike at iWearShorts.com and uh, tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make some updates to the Android store when you have multiple versions of an app. Uh, what I mean by that is you need to distribute multiple different APKs. Uh, let's say you're using something like Crosswalk, for instance, uh, in your Android web view. Well, if that's the case, basically you're going to output two different APKs that you want to upload. Um, there's going to be an ARM7 and an x86 version, uh, depending on your architecture. And then you want to upload both of those, but you want to keep that same version number. And uh, let's say then you also have a third option, which is sort of your current release um, for all the sort of up-to-date up devices. So in my situation, what I have is uh, I have a couple branches. I can just show you really quick um, what I've got. So I've got an Android low version release and a current release. Um, so basically my current release is, all, is for the up-to-date devices that will... Uh, just sort of work with my app, but I've also got a lower version release uh, that has crosswalk and some other things to sort of uh, help the older apps keep up. So, um, and now I'm just going to show you how to put that in the store. So basically, if you go here, you can see in my alpha testing, I have three different versions of the apps. Um, you had an API level 21 plus and then 14 through 20. Uh, for the x86 and the ARM7. Um, so I want to do the same thing here with beta testing. I'm going to show you how to get the uh, APKs into the App Store. It can be kind of confusing. So um, let's just go ahead and go step by step here. Um, basically, so after I'm done with all my updates, I'm going to change this to 125 in my version. And then I also added this uh, this extra attribute here called version code, Android Android dash version code. I'm also going to manually increment that, um, and I'm just going to set that to one zero two zero five zero. So I'm on my. Uh, you can see my current branch is my low version release. So I'm upgrading to one two five here, and uh, now that that's done, I'm just going to go over to my terminal window, into my app, and I'm going to type in Cordova prepare um, and then I'm gonna actually just build that for a release so it's just Cordova build dash dash release Android and as soon as I do that uh, it's gonna run for a second it's got a lot to prepare in the background so this may take a, a minute um, but basically I'm gonna compile the app with uh, this Android version code 10 20 50 uh, then I'm going to sort of sign an APK, I'll make that my ARM7 APK, it's totally arbitrary, and then I'm going to go back and increment this version number to 10, 20, 51, let's say, and then, uh, and then I'll sign this again, I'll go through the process again and upload again, and you'll see that I'll be able to keep this 10, or this 1.2.5 here, um, but increment this version code, and in the App Store you'll see only one version. So. Uh, now that that's compiled or built, uh, I just need to go into my APK folder. Um, if you don't know where that is, basically it's in your, um, let's see, if you go into your app, you go into platforms here, Android, and then go down to the build folder, and then go to outputs, APK. And uh, so what got built was, was put in here. So um, now I just need to do some things to that. Uh, folder. So I have a handy little um, text editor here that I've put my code in. Basically what, what you need to do now, I've put this code on my website, so if you're looking at that, iwearshorts.com, you should be able to follow along. Basically you need to sign this document. Oh, one, one thing, if you haven't uh, created this key store um, file before, I would just do a quick Google on that. There's plenty of resources to tell you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Basically what you're do doing is generating a private key and a public key. So when you upload your app, you sign it with a public key and, and that actually goes up to Google and they'll use that to verify your updates later. So uh, be sure you keep that around because if you lose that uh, private key and have to make a new key store file, um, Google will not let you update, make any more updates and you'll have to remake your app. So 
um, just keep that around. So what I've done is I've put my uh, jar signer, I'm doing verbose, I'm using my key store, and then I'm going to do the arm7 release first. And I'm just going to copy that, and in my directory here, uh, in my APK directory, I've already CD'd in here, you can see um, I'm in my APK directory, so I'm just going to paste that in. It's going to ask me for my password that I set up uh, when I generated my key store file. And I'm going to enter my password in, and it's going to do some signing, and boom, we're done. So then the other part of this is I need to now verify this with zip align. Um, so the tricky part here is when you've installed Android SDK, zip line is going to be installed in your build tools folder. Um, and then under version, whichever version you installed. Uh, so you need to run the path to zipline because sometimes it doesn't get installed as an executable. So anyway, I'm just going to copy this line for the uh, low version release ARM7. And I'm going to just do a verification successful message pops up. So that's good. And uh, okay, so we're all ready to upload. So you can see I'm done with my alpha testing, which was version 124. Now I'm going to go to version 125 here. So I'm going to upload a new APK and then I'm going to go over here and you can see that it generated my file. So right here I said 911 moment of reflection arm 7 LVR and you can see that that file actually got created uh, right here. So I'm just going to drag that file into uh, the browser over here and it's going to take a moment to upload. And you can see um, once it's done, this will say it's on version 125. Um, and you can see there's my code. So I actually, it added another 2 in there. I did 10, 20, 50, and it added a 502. So um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and save that draft. And that should go into. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, sorry about that little error there. Basically what happened was I had already uh, published some previous versions that would sort of be overwritten by my new updates. So basically I just moved all these, I just deactivated all of version 124, and now I'm making version 125 uh, the update. So what we did where we left off last video was, uh, or I don't know if I'm splicing these videos together or not, so anyway, the first part of this video, uh, we uploaded the ARM7 version. You can see that uh, ARM7 architecture right there. So now we're going to do the x86, and again, we want to keep that uh, version name 125. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go into my Xcode here. Again, I'm going to keep 125 just the way it is, and I'm going to do the low version release for x86 now. So I'm going to save that config file. And again, I'm going to go over here and do a uh, Cordova prepare, Cordova build. Um, I like to run both commands. I don't actually know if it helps. Um, I think you can just run build. I think running build is the same as running prepare and then something else. I don't know. So anyway, I never took the time to figure it out. Um, so once this is done, uh, we will again go and sign that and I just want to show you what this is doing by setting this version code here um, Basically what you've done is up under your platforms in your Android directory um, In your Android manifest what you've done here is actually set this code right here So you can see the version name is 125 and this is what I set 10 20 51 uh, so that's my spec there. Usually you're just setting this version, but uh, in order to force Android to sort of accept things in the Google Play Store, uh, you have to update the version code with every APA, APK that you upload. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now. Same process as last time. I just need to generate the, uh, I need to sign the APK for my x86, so that's going to be stored under Android x86 release. Um, again, I'm using my key store, 
I'm going to paste that in. It's going to ask me for the password. And I'm going to sign everything that's going to work out. And then I'm going to just do a zip align verify. Everything looks successful. Again, if I just go double check my Android manifest, that version number has changed. I've incremented it by one. And uh, so now I'm just going to go to my site and go back to alpha and upload another APK. So oh, cancel that. So I want to save the changes here. And uh, now I want to upload another APK. So in my um, folder here, you can see it generated another file, the x86 architecture this time. So I'm going to drag that in. And the last part of this video, I'll actually show you how to uh, make the current release update as well. So you can see it's processing. Once it's done with that, you'll see um, I'm still version name 125, but now it's given me uh, this 514 at the end. So it actually takes my increment and adds another number to it. Um, and then you can see here it's supporting the x86 architecture. It's a little bit screwy because now it has ARM7 crossed out. That's okay. Um, you just click Save Draft. And you can see that both APKs are still available. Um, and, you know, whatever is, whatever device you're on, that APK will apply to your device. Okay, so the last part, um, we just want to switch over to our current release and release a version without Crosswalk. So these last two versions have been building with Crosswalk. That's why I've been uh, finding these two ARM7 and x86 uh, apps. So I want to just build one without it now. Um, so I'm just going to um, figure out what my what I need to do here. Built for version 1.2.5. Um, okay, so I'm just going to push this real quick. And great, now I'm going to switch over to uh, my other branch, which is my current release branch. So I'm just going to highlight this so I don't have to type it. And I switched over to my current release. You'll notice that. Uh, if I go ahead and check my config file, there's it's still version 124, and then my Android manifest file is still 124. So I want to go ahead and change uh, config.xml in the in the root of my www folder. Um, so, or actually, I don't think it's no, it's not in the root. Yes, it is in the root. Anyway, um, so I'm going to increment this version to 125. And then 10, 20, 50. But this time, uh, I'm going to say 52. I'm going to increment that by another one. Even though this is a different branch, um, I still need to have a separate version code here to upload to Google Play. So anyway, uh, created that. Now we just need to build it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and run Cordova build release. And uh, it should be much quicker, actually, this time, because I'm not using Crosswalk. It doesn't have to do a lot of the building that it did before. And you can see it gives me the name of the APK that it generated here, just Android Release Unsigned instead of Android ARM 7 or whichever. So uh, now in my uh, directory, you can see all my stuff is still here. That's just because it's untracked. Um, so we're just going to finish this up. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, sign that here. So I'm going to copy this line. Again, you can get this code on my website. Um, it's going to ask me for a passphrase. I'm going to enter it. I'm going to sign it with that. And then 
I'm going to verify. So I've just labeled this folder CR for current release here. So we did a verification and uh, it looks like it generated my CR moment of reflection. So let's just go back and double check our Android manifest and indeed we did update to 125 and it's 10 20 52. Um, that's so my ARM 7 version was 10 20 50. Uh, my x86 architecture was 10 20 51 and my current release is going to be 10 20 52. So um, now everything is built and signed. We're just going to go to the store. We're going to say upload a new APK. We're going to go find that APK here. And it's really quick because again, I'm not using crosswalk, so it's not adding like 20 megabytes to my APK file. So here uh, we've got everything looks in order. And we'll just say, uh, you know, we could put in our updates here if we wanted to. I'm just going to save this draft. And now you can see um, where API level 21 plus, 14 through 20 in two different architectures with crosswalk and uh, we have that version name 125 so that is a long video but that's how you do it basically it all depends on incrementing your Android version code in your config XML file I really wouldn't try to mess with this Android manifest you're gonna find it's really frustrating uh, to update this anyway so you want to just sort of let Cordova handle it and uh, just use your Android version code attribute there. Keep incrementing that with every version release and every APK, APK you upload and uh, you should be fine. So again, here's the store one more time. We've got 125 and uh, multiple APKs for that version. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to check out iwearshorts.com and uh, leave a comment in the section underneath. So uh, thanks for watching.